So, firstly, I'd just like to say thank you so much for the almost unexpected reaction to my top five harshest Doctor Who stories. I didn't think it'd be as, um, well, well received as it was, and highly viewed as well, which really took me by surprise. So, thank you so much for your support on that, and I'll definitely try to do more videos like that before the end of the year and into next year, so watch this space. So it's been a while since we did anything like this. It's the return of the classic Doctor, How to Cosplays. And we've only got two more Doctors to cover it before we go into the uh, other section, shall I say, which will be more about one-off Doctors, en enhanced variations of Doctors, uh, that sort of thing. So let's get the basic How to Cosplays out of the way, and then we can move on to the even more intriguing stuff. So today we'll be concentrating on the second Doctor, as played by the wonderful Patrick Troughton. He's definitely one of my favourite incarnations, and I believe he's really quite groundbreaking, as obviously he was the first one to take over the world since Heart on the Left. Without further ado, let's get to it. This will be an easier one to put together, since we don't really have many variants to do at all. His costume is pretty similar all the way through. First things first, the coat. The second Doctor wears a tailcoat. You can get these on Hello Cosplay, but only as part of a set. If you want to go up a notch, then check out the Baron's Boutique version. The shirt. Well, generally, you can get away with any light colour, but light blue is your best bet. He does seem to wear a more vibrantly blue shirt than the Three Doctors, though. Also, feel free to get one a bit oversized for that loose and baggy look. The bow tie is usually just a simple navy blue dotted bow tie. Easy enough, it's a smallish one, though, usually attached by a safety pin. For the trousers, well, the Doctor wore plaid or checkered trousers generally, either grey or light brown. But I wouldn't pressure yourself too much on this, as the beauty of the costumes only seen in monochrome. It does take the pressure off a bit if you're budget strapped. You can pick up golf trousers at most fashion stores, say Primark, but as always, just check eBay. As always, here's an example. Shoes? Just get some regular brown or black shoes and you'll be fine. For the braces, a version is included with the set that you can get from Hello Cosplay, but basic red braces will do the job especially if you cut out the designs with yellow card and either use double-sided sellotape or glue to stick them on. Alternatively, you can keep your eye out for brown floral braces. Now, the Doctor also wore a hat known as a Paris bow, sometimes referred to as a stovepipe hat. Now, if you know where to get this, to share with us all, because it's an incredibly unique one. It may have to be a custom job, as I can't find it anywhere. Alternatively, you can just get a nice blue woolly hat, as seen in Fury from the Deep. Now this is totally optional, but you can always attempt to get his fur coat as seen in the Abominable Snowmen, the Ice Warriors, and the Five Doctors. You'll be happy to know that the coat was actually made of polyester rather than natural fur, thankfully. I'd personally check eBay or Amazon for this one. There are multiple variations of different styles and sizes. It, the whole world's your oyster when it comes to it, to be honest. Next up is the handkerchief, often seen in his upper pocket. It's basically a paisley design, very easy to find on eBay in many colours. Alternatively, two also wore a polka dot design in the Five Doctors, so you can feel free to adapt that. The Sonic Screwdriver. A much, much, much more basic design than any of the other Sonic synths. You can literally just get away with a pen light. And last but not least, the Recorder. This is absolutely quintessential for the Second Doctor. To sort this out, just take a white recorder and paint a blue swirls around it. Have fun with it. Recorders are meant to be played after all. Lastly, I'd like to thank Cal Walker for his assistance on this. Thanks, man. So, that was How to Cosplay the Second Doctor. As usual, I hope it managed to help all of you in putting together your Second Doctor cosplays, if you are doing so. And, uh, yeah, I shall see you next time, in which we'll be covering the First Doctor, which is very fitting, considering the contest of the Christmas special. Oh, and you might be wondering about the scars. Um, yeah, it's uh, relating to something that I'm working on. I might be doing a video on this certain other franchise as a bit of a departure from who, so, yeah, experimentation. Anyway, see ya!